What up, y'all? Here we go. The top templates I use in CapCut. Let's get to it. Thanks for tuning in, y'all. We're gonna get right to it. So the first thing I wanna talk to you about are the two top templates that I use in CapCut. It's either gonna be for YouTube, like an intro or outro video, or then it's gonna be for like a YouTube a short or reel or Instagram or TikTok, something of that nature. So those are the top two uh, templates that I use. And right now I'm gonna show you exactly how to get those. So what you're gonna need is CapCut. Uh, last week I was on the laptop. This week I'm actually gonna be on the iPad. So we'll go ahead and share the screen so that you guys can see exactly what I'm doing. Them, but essentially once you open up CapCut and get that opened up you're gonna you're gonna go down to the templates there's a template button you're gonna go down hit that template button and then you're immediately gonna go to the search bar so the first thing that I need to determine is is this going to be a YouTube intro outro type video where the format needs to be 16 by 9 or is this gonna be more like a Instagram a reel or TikTok or short where the format's a little bit different Either way, once I figure that out, I can then determine which template I need to use. So first and foremost, let's pretend that we're going to do like a YouTube intro or outro video. So the first thing I'm gonna do is go to my search bar. You can already see that it's been searched for there, but we're gonna type in YouTube intro. And the reason we're typing in YouTube intro is so that we can get the formatting as I click into this example, you'll see the formatting is set up to where this is just like YouTube, the formats that the YouTubes will need to be. And as you see, I'm just going down the, the, the line or the list of templates that you can actually use and customize that's for your own brand or for the brand of clients that you're actually servicing. So that's the first one. That's how we get YouTube videos. And again, guys, you can go through and there are a bunch of different temp templates that you can customize and create uh, and really maximize to get the most out of these templates. Um, that's for YouTube. Let's jump over to, if say I want to do a TikTok, an Instagram Reel, one of those, what we're then gonna do is go back to the search bar. Instead of searching for YouTube video, I'm actually gonna search TikTok. TikTok template. And once we get that TikTok template in there, and we'll click once those examples show up like we have here if you click and look in these templates you'll see very similar to how they were for youtube these are exactly for TikToks. there is no customizing that you have to do in terms of getting the aspect ratio right it's right as you need it so it's plug and play all you have to do is utilize this template put your own work in there and once you have your own work in there you guys are good to go so again these are the ways that I utilize the templates in the marketing uh, for, for basically my brand and the brand for other clients. Um, in another video, I'm gonna actually show you and walk you guys through how I pick the template, um, customizing the template, and making it fit for either my brand or my client's brand. So thanks for tuning in. I hope this helped out. Again, like, subscribe, share. Hopefully this helped you. Uh, stay tuned for the next one. Thanks.